is Amatekun a conflict with the role of police? Because they are afraid that the governors maybe during the election period they may lose why, it. Why, why, why do we always, if people have obsession with governors, they should declare their interest. You just said something that you are afraid that governors would misuse police. Does the federal government not misuse police? I'm sitting here in front of you. I know what happened to me in 2014 during my election. I was a sitting governor. I had immunity. And I was assaulted. Go into the history books and check it. That is federal police. Federal police is mishandled. Any police can be manhandled. What we should be talking about is how do we make sure that the security institutions are more accountable within the framework of democratic control? That should not be about whether the president can misuse or the governor can misuse. Power unrestrained is always misused. This initiatives that are springing up point to one thing it points to the fact that citizens are not happy with the state of security in the land and governors whether we like it or not have a duty and a responsibility which is clearly spelled out in the constitution the security and welfare of citizens is the number one job of any governor. You may define that way whichever way you want to put it, but that is the number one job we have. So, if the people within my own jurisdiction are saying, we don't know what you are doing, you are funding police, you are buying vehicles, you are buying security gadgets, you are even paying allowances, yet we still don't get enough security. There is nothing unique in what we have done. And I'm glad that my colleagues in the Northwest, and uh, I was reading the papers this morning, I think South, Southeast to say, and um, no, not Central, we are all along, uh, saying, we haven't seen the details of what they're doing in the Southwest, but we think this is something that we are working on, a similar arrangement in, in our own area. Uh, Amateko is nothing but a confidence building measure to include our people in a community policing arrangement. That's all that it is. And it is not something we're doing. Even the Police Act encourages police to have what they call special constabulary. Yeah, but they are the ones supposed to manage and recruit those. Well, that may well be the case, but they can also not recruit in a vacuum. They have to, if it is community policing, they have to work with the community. They have to work with the, those who are closest to the community. And look, there's nothing that we're doing that has not been done. Yesterday, Governor Zulum is in your paper this morning. Governor Zulum was handing over vehicles to military, to police, and to what? Civilian JTF. Please, what is civilian JTF? I'm sure you know what civilian JTF is. Why is civilian JTF very relevant in the Northeast? They know the terrain, they know the culture. They know the people, they have better intelligence than even the security agencies. Because those who are responsible for these problems, they live amongst them. The Boko Haram are not from outer space. They're from this Nigeria. And they live amongst people. So if why, why are we denying in every country what we're doing is a matter of course. It's not an exception. It is not an exception at all. So the notion that, oh, if you allow governors to do this, they will abuse it. They will use it to intimidate opponents. Fine. Let them try it to intimidate opponents. One of the reasons why this is regional is that we don't want anyone 
to reduce it to a machinery of oppression against their people. But some governors were not there. Was there an indication that they were not fully behind? And every idea? every single governor was involved. This is not something that happened in an accident. We started this process in June last year after we had a spate of kidnapping in uh, banditry in the southwest. That was when we started. Every single governor signed up to this. Every single state had their vehicles in Ibadan. And if you have the opportunity, feel free. I was with Governor Sonwele yesterday in Lagos. He wasn't there. The reason why he wasn't there was clear because he wanted to fly down and the Amateur Hayes did not allow him to do it.